Hello and welcome to Yakuza Zero and this will be part 16. In the last part, a sub-story got in the way of the sub-story we intended to do. So, in this part, we will get that sub-story done. I just need to move in the correct direction in this... Um, oh, why am I going that way? Well, to probably uh, move the other way. The other way, you imbecile. Okay. So. A fight? Huh? I'll take it. This is why I like this style. There's another reason why I like this style. All to pick up with objects. Makes these kind of fights so much quicker. Hmm. That sounds like a call out from yet another sub story, but we'll ignore it for now. Rubbish in flux. Those are people, guys, basically, in golden suits. And they drop a lot more money than other random bad guys. And we are just going to get involved again. That's the type of person he is. I define Kiryu as a modern day paladin. Fights for what he believes in. He's helping those who can't help themselves. He's nice to those who are weak. He's strong and fearless towards those who are trying to make life miserable for other people. True modern day power. Just get a juice so it's not taking space on the inventory. So, sub story time. Come on. This away. This away and that away. I know this game is not the most detailed of the Yakuza, but it's quite enjoyable. Hmm, is that... isn't that Mina? Her boyfriend wants to know how she's making so much cash. We should probably go and speak to her. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? What? A customer? Don't tell me this girl is really selling herself. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess not. Did you want something? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going and see if I can figure out what she's doing. This is all new to me. Sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Could you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first time customer. That's why you were uh, so sensitive. Um, sorry, the first time can be awkward and embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I think I managed to get the ball rolling. The girl's a little less wary, too. So, uh, um, uh, what would you like? Huh? What do you mean? Um, well... Top or button? Which do you want? Nani. Top or button? Top or button? Is the girl talking about position? 
sounds like she's giving customers the option of being on the top or bottom. But I have to keep up the show to figure out if she's really selling her body. Uh, top or bottom? It's super frail. Um, middle. I'll go between and take the middle. Middle? There's no middle. Uh, I guess there wouldn't be. Um, I'm no professional, but I'm pretty sure there's no middle. Then uh, I'd like um, top. Oh, there's uh, top. Top. My bra, then. Please hold on. Huh? Your bra? Pardon? You said you wanted the top, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did. But why are you on the wear? I don't get it. I'm sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm... A Burocera girl. Burocera? That's not a word I know. It's short for Buruma and Serafuku. You know, bloomers and sailor suits. Burocera girls sell gym clothes, school uniforms and lots of other stuff they've worn before. In my case though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that? And why? Huh? Why? I guess men use them to do pervy things. What else would it be? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. You were doing business with men who got excited over your second-hand skivvies. <laughs> don't judge. You're the one who's here trying to buy it. Yeah. No, actually. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away. You don't want to stand here talking to a pervert. Nani. What? I should say, Nani? Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Great. She's totally shut down now. I'm the adult here, I better set her straight. This one with being a bird. Nah, probably not. Can you admit you saw your underwear? You admit to other people that you can that you saw underwear. Can you be proud of that? Huh? Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? Hi. Tachan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Huh? How do you know about Tachan? Actually, he put me onto this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I would never sell myself. Right, you're not selling your body. What you're doing is... What was the word again, Purusara? But whether you're marketing your underwear or your body, I think it's still both about selling your sex. But can you party tell your boyfriend you do Burasero? Hi, I don't... Hmm? I don't... I don't want to do this either. Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Yeah. No, it's alright. I might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Burasero thing. Was it for the money? Some of us are in, in, in it for that, but not me. I mean, it's nice to have having money. It doesn't make me happy all, at all to buy things with money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just so afraid of Sachiko. Sachiko? She runs things from, for all the grocery girls in the area. So Chico figures out um, where we should be standing on the streets. She also takes care of things if there's any trouble with a customer. In return, we all have to submit a part of our earnings to, to Chico once a month. But there's a girl overseeing the operation. Can you tell us Chico and want to quit? That's impossible. As long as she is around, I can't quit doing this Burasera thing. The high school girls around here are all Chico's friends. If I try to stand up to her quit, they all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar. Hi, I don't want to sell my underwear anymore. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I could find this, said Chico? I do, but why would you want to know? I don't want to get back to your boyfriend and tell him that you were peddling your panties. I thought maybe I could persuade said Chico to quit running this sketchy boy Sarah ring. What, really? You do that? It would be wonderful if that worked, but I'm not sure Sachiko can be persuaded so easily. It's worth a try. Where can I find Sachiko? 
I think she's doing her reserve shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing Sakurashi Academy's uniform. Long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know Sakurashi's Academy uniform, though. Oh, I guess not. Sakurashi's uniform has a white collar and a blue scarf. Shiko sometimes wear, uh, wears a cardigan, but I'm not sure if she's wearing it today. Long-haired girl in school uniform with a white collar and blue scarf, and might be wearing a cardigan. Yes, I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this poor server thing. Please help me. Of course you're going to help the problem thing. And by the way, this subject may be somewhat sensitive to certain people, and for that I apologize. I will not be responsible for the content of the game. It is part of the game. Like any sub-story in this game, there is a moral at the end of it. But this kind of stuff is something that's hugely offensive to you, then I do. I don't apologize. I can't apologize to the game. I am just conveying the message. I'm not one writing it. Taking the taxi because it's faster. So, should be nearby. Oh, could it be the one with the speed bubble? Hmm. I wonder. There's a high school girl. Could this be Sachiko, the head of the Burasera ring? Yes, is something the matter? Shut down your Burasera ring. Hey, Sachiko, shut down your Burasera ring. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> yeah, so, you're Sachiko, the Burasera ring leader. Yes, I'm Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Uh. Yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work near Boracera Ring, and it's making some of them miserable. Miserable? They're making a lot of money selling used clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Nani. What? The customers want what we offer, and we're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we want? Girls shouldn't do this. It's a health hazard. Think of your parents. It's a health hazard. It's a health hazard. Think about it. Use underwear as unsanitary. Mm -hmm. Oh, but isn't that exactly why men buy it? Hmm. Besides, if you're worried about hygiene, I'm only selling underwear I've put on after taking a shower. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. Girls shouldn't do this. Girls shouldn't be doing this. Need to act like ladies with some sense of decorum and oh, so that's what you what you're saying is it's fine for men to sell the underpants, but not women. Uh, that's pretty blatant gender discrimination. It's the eighties, man. Time to stop thinking so old school. What you're doing is selling your sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire. They're going to get burned. Oh, well, well. Haven't gotten burned yet. You'll see what happens when I do. Nani. What? I finished. I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like you to leave. Hmm. She's not, she's not budging. I guess I'll let Mina know. By the way, I didn't know that men were selling their underpants. Hmm, I should have known that many years ago. <laughs> I, I better not share that thought, but whatever. Oh, hello, may I help you? Mm -hmm. oh. Sachiko-san, Chan. Oh, Sachiko-chan, the panties were so sweet, Sachiko-chan. Hi, I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Sachiko-chan, I love you. Huh? Chiku chan, I love you, the Chiku chan. Love, 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 Chiku Chiku chan, Chiku chan. I love you, the Chiku chan. 
love Tsuchiko chan. I love you, Tsuchiko chan. I really, really do. Um, uh, freaking me out here. Tsuchiko chan, I love you, Tsuchiko chan. Let's spend our lives together, Tsuchiko chan. I love you. I, 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 I can't do that. Huh? Ah! Made up my mind, Sachiko chan. I already decided. I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties, Sachiko chan. Whatever. You really scared me. I love you, Sachiko chan. We're together forever, Sachiko chan. No! Someone! Please! Hi! Hi! I can't! Ah! By the way, I didn't feel awkward reading all that up. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Ugh. It's alright. You're safe now. Ha. Ha. Huh? Who the... You. Don't get in my way. Sajiko Chan is mine. That me, you bugger. I should probably kick him when he's down, but I have something in store for him. Or do you like the idea of a suplex? Let's play not plant versus zombies, but plants versus knives. Plant wins. Uff, uff. Uh. Are you alright? Hi, I'm okay. I told you, man. You played with fire and you got burned. Uh -huh. why, why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you. I would never just stand around, around while a high school girl got assault in front of me. That's... I don't. Kiryu's a good guy. Chiko chan Mina. I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting you for Sarah Group. Really sorry. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. And don't bully her for quitting your group. I hate to admit it, but you were totally right. For Sarah business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. I never even thought about a girl like Mina being in danger for, from something I put together. I'm going to disband this poor this right now. Oh, you are? Really? Yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yes. Tachan, I don't have to sew my panties anymore. Also, Mina-chan. Thanks for being honest with me. Why is decision? We made the day. Too. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be that frightened again. There's no need to thank me. <laughs> ah, got it. Besides, I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Oh, okay. Hmm. I think I think she was trying to hit on you, <laughs> Kiryu. And on that note, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Take care, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.